Hey guys, it is Danny, and welcome to this video. And I'm here with updates on that highlighted yellow area right there that you're seeing in the Atlantic. It is possible that that could develop into our next name storm by the new week and acquire the name Kappa, which is the next name to be used. And we are also going to be talking about which names are likely to be retired from both the 2020 and the 2019 Atlantic hurricane season. So we're going to be going into depth with that. And before I go into details, Please do subscribe if you haven't and tap the bell so you know every time when I post a new video because I will keep you guys updated on tropical side connectivity right throughout the hurricane season. And you can also follow me on Instagram. My weather account is with girl Danny and my personal account is Danny Henry Official. And you can also join my Discord server. The link to that is in the description of this video. Okay guys, so first let's go back to the National Hurricane Center's 5-day graphical tropical weather outlook for this disturbance and as you are seeing, it is given a low 20% chance of development through the next 5 days and so once that low pressure area has formed, we will see that X to show the location of it but as of now, we don't have it and actually I think that it's going to be developing from a current cold front that is extending across the North Atlantic Basin guys and so guys, um maybe Bermuda will be the only place impacted by this if it does develop but aside from that this is not seen as a threat to the US or anywhere else and so there is the cold front and it's right in that region I think that that piece is really going to be breaking away from breaking away from the rest of the frontal system and eventually maybe acquire some subtropical characteristics and eventually become a subtropical storm maybe by some time um next week maybe by the middle part of the week or so guys but again development is not guaranteed and let's look at the favorability for tropical development across the north atlantic and so guys in terms of the wind shear we have a lot of unfavorable shear which is indicated by those reds really dominating most of the atlantic basin and we have the yellows meaning neutral and the greens meaning favorable and we see that there's some spots of yellows and greens that indicate a less hostile environment for these tropical systems to develop but again we still have most of that um, unfavorable shear that's really dominating most of the north atlantic but again this is something that changes rapidly so we might see um, a change in this maybe by the next couple of days or so but you really have to watch it and see but as of now our models aren't picking up on anything significant at least for the next week or two and in terms of ocean temperatures we're definitely having a cool down across most of the North Atlantic Basin and uh, it's really the Caribbean and also just off the coast of Africa that are the warmest spots at this time. So once if the winter in those regions are favorable, then it could be supportive of a potential tropical system developing, guys. But as of now, we will continue to have this cool down because, of course, we're progressing into the winter months. And so, guys, which names are likely to be retired from the 2019 season? Okay, guys, so personally, I think that Dorian and Lorenzo might be retired and the reason that we are having um the 2019 retirement along with 2020 is because this season early in the spring for every year we hear which names for that previous season um are retired if there are any and what their replacements are but due to the pandemic that didn't happen this year and so it's been postponed till next year but we'll see how next year goes hopefully we actually hear about it because the pandemic is likely to um, prolong into the spring of next year but hopefully things work out and so I think that Dorian and Lorenzo because of course they were both cat fives the only cat fives of 2019 and they were both destructive and you might be wondering why I say Lorenzo and it was out of sea well first let's go to Dorian and we see that on Sunday's view this was a storm near peak intensity when it was over the Bahamas. It caused over 100 deaths and it devastated portions of the Bahamas. Billions of dollars in damages. It just pounded them with um, almost two days of unrelenting Cat 5 winds that did um, that deadly storm surge and also that inland flooding. So things were very, very crazy in the Bahamas, guys. And that is why I think that this will definitely be retired. And then going to Lorenzo. Lorenzo did not affect anywhere at its... Um, at the time, it was a major hurricane in its lifetime. So, But it was a Cat 5 out in the Atlantic. And it was so powerful. It was off the coast of Africa when it became a Cat 5. Well, um, it was well off the coast of Africa. And it generated swells as far as the U.S. that killed quite a few people along the East Coast. And it also caused this, um, the sinking of the Bourbon Road ship. So that is why I think that 
this will definitely um it might potentially be retired because even with Hurricane Joaquin back in 2015, it sunk the El Faro and uh, devastated portions of the Bahamas as a cat for and was retired. So I think that might be the same outcome with Lorenzo and for this hurricane season, I definitely think that the name Laura will be retired because, of course, Laura was a Gulf monster. It devastated portions of the Gulf Coast in late August and it was near Cat 5 status at the time when it was doing so. And actually, we will be looking at our original list and then the Greek um, list. And then looking at a lighter view of what Laura was near peak intensity, there we have that deadly system. So guys, Laura was one of the strongest um, gulf systems right there um, near the time of landfall. It's one of the strongest to make landfall on the Gulf Coast and it's one of the many storms that really made landfall um, along the Gulf Coast this hurricane season, this very hyperactive hurricane season, guys. So it's very, very awful and that is why I think that it's going to be retired. A lot of persons died and well millions or billions in damages also along the gulf coast and so now guys now to the greek names and so guys out of the names we've had so far i definitely think that delta eta and iota will be retired they were all major hurricanes and iota was of course a category 5 monster that devastated portions of central america just in the space of two weeks um after it have made landfall so guys it is definitely a very awful scenario that central america had to face with both of these tropical systems and now let us go on to what they looked like on satellite and so guys that is it at first and there we have that monstrous cat for about to make landfall in nicaragua and it was a cat for with winds near cat 5 status it was a high-end cat 4 but it had winds of 150 miles per hour so not far from being a category 5 hurricane guys so it's very very disastrous and so guys um hurricane iota just two weeks after it made landfall in nicaragua iota also devastated that same area guys it was just crazy i've never seen anything like this where we had um two major hurricanes in the space of two weeks affect the same place at a similar intensity and so there is um a yota and so it was a cat five of course and it has broken a lot of records it's the first greek letter or the greek name to be used for a tropical system to be a cat five and it is also the second strongest november storm on record the strongest was a 1932 hurricane that achieved winds of over 175 miles per hour so that was just crazy guys so guys this is really just my opinion i would love to hear from you guys in the comments which names do you think will be retired from both 2019 and 2020 and what names do you think they will be replaced with and so guys that is really it for this video and if you found this video to be pretty informative please do the Please give a thumbs up and you can also share your thoughts in the comments or ask questions. I will try to respond as best and as soon as I can. And just remember to always be with wise. And I will keep giving all the necessary updates on the tropics as time goes by.